everyone, my name is Kobuman. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, today, I wanted to talk about a question that was posed to me from one of my viewers. It was a very good question. He was basically asking for advice on how to get an IT job, right? Um, he, he said he had really good customer service, um, knows how to use computer, you know, but wasn't really technical. So, and, and his field that um, that he was familiar with was not related to um, IT, right? So he wanted, you know, advice. He was asking for advice. And I thought it was an excellent question. And of course, I provided feedback to him on, on what he needs to do in order to get himself, you know, into IT field, right? So the first thing basically you have to do is, um, is basically get yourself familiarized of what IT is and what, what you can expect. So what is that? I mean, when you go into IT field, there are two major things you can expect. There, are, there's a customer service aspect of the IT, and then there's a technical uh, aspect of the IT. But in order to get yourself, uh, basically, your foot into the door of IT, IT field, right? Um, you have to kind of, uh, basically, familiarize yourself with uh, more of a technical aspect at first, right? Uh, it, customer service is excellent, and you always want to have good customer service because that will actually help you get further within the IT field. So whichever company that you start working for, your good customer service and interpersonal communication um, with, the, with the co-workers or anybody else within that organization, even outside the organization, will help you that much further um, progress and advance within that same IT field, right? So the first thing I told him is basically, since he's not too familiar or, or or he's not too technical when it comes to computers because this is not his field of expertise um, is to basically start uh, by, by practice, right? The best way to learn is to practice. But in order to practice, you have to have somebody teach you, right? And the best way, the best way, in my opinion, is to actually have somebody right next to you and you're the one the, the person that, that that's learning how to use computers is the one that's in control of the computer, right? And the person next to you tells you step by step what to do, and you actually do it. Because if you do it, then it's gonna you're gonna retain that as in memory much better, right? Second way is to watch somebody else to do do it, right? So for example, watch somebody's video, right? And God knows I have plenty of of, of videos, tutorial videos from beginner to you know. Uh, advanced or whatever you know so that's another way whether it's you know on my channel or any other channel you know you watch somebody else do it and that's one way to do it right second way uh, I'm sorry the third third thing you have to do is basically get into a habit of writing down things that you do right that's the that's a, a really good way of retaining information if you have if you're not good with visual memory like for example myself I'm really good at a visual memory so whatever I see I have incredibly good memory to memorize it right but some people don't necessarily have that some people have to write down things that they do so uh, in order for you to retain uh, well I mean that might be something that, that you're that, that, that works for you you might want to start writing things down so every time you do something write it down you don't have to physically write it down you can just type it out like in a in a word format or whatnot right you can just type it out save it name it whatever you want so that way you can use it as a reference right and this is something you should definitely do once you start getting into once you get an IT job right so once you get a little bit more technical about it you know you have your knowledge you have your knowledge basic knowledge if you will to get an entry level job you should start looking immediately right regardless whether you have um, education for it or not because your education will be your knowledge right so you don't you don't necessarily have to have a degree in order to get into IT it helps but it, it's not the, necessarily the first step right you don't have to have a degree in order to get into IT right there's there are always entry-level jobs that don't require uh, an advanced um, ad advanced level of, of technical skill right so look start for looking for jobs and even if it's um but first of all don't quit your job while you're doing this right keep doing your job that you're doing just have patience but in the meantime start looking you know start looking for jobs that are entry level uh, a lot of customer service or help desk or technical help desk or like for a telecommunication company or something like that um we'll have these type of jobs that basically are answering the phone and helping the customer with technical aspect 
of, of, of whatever the issue is. Let's say it's a cable company, right? Somebody calls in and says, my internet doesn't work. Well, here's the thing though. Um, when, once you start working for a company that, for a cable company, they will teach you on how to use their tool. And that's one step, one step closer to you getting an, an, an advanced or a, an, a better version of IT job that you want, right? And once you get to that point where you get your entry level job, it could be a contract work too, by the way. So if you're, if you come across a job that's like two to three months, six months, you, you make sure you go for that because chances are they, they'll be willing to train you to do this job. And not only that, you'll have a chance of getting hired as full time, right? So just be persistent, right? Take your time, be patient and, you know, bring your best, you know, best with you on your interview, right? Be prepared, you know, and, and this, here's the thing though, you don't have to, like I said, necessarily have an advanced level. Uh, of, of, of knowledge to get these entry level jobs at all. You could almost, I, I, I dare to say you can almost know almost next to nothing when it comes to advanced level um, IT, uh, IT, IT work, right? For the better, better, for the lack of better words of explaining it, um, as long as you have the basic knowledge of computer use, there's a really good chance if you have a really good customer service or you're very friendly, you're you know, you have really good communication skills that you will get that entry level job regardless because they will teach you afterwards on how to use their tool. And not only that, a lot of companies have proprietary tools, meaning that it's not something that a common folks would, would use, right? So a, a tool that, for example, used for troubleshooting some kind of proprietary system made specifically for that company and in, in our case that we talked about a cable company, right? Cable company might have a special um, in-house made tool or application that's used to troubleshoot uh, certain aspects, right? So don't give up, you know, even like even within the company. So let's say you're doing something else that's not even related for some other company. Uh, let's say you're just um, doing some other job within the current job that you have. And if they have IT job positions open, try that. Okay, apply within and see if you can get that. And if you cannot possibly get an IT job within your current company, I highly encourage you to move on because you'll be stuck there forever. Okay, and like I said, don't quit your job or anything like that, but start looking. Okay, and it's going to take time. It takes, it takes time and over time, once you get your entry level job, you will get used to that type of environment. You'll get really good at your job. You'll, your technical skills will improve drastically your experience will improve drastically and then from there you can move on and another thing is it, when you start working for an IT company chances are it, it, if you're really good at your job and you really want to move on to a, a next level job then chances are they, they'll be willing to pay for your education for your certificate for your degree or at least help you pay for that okay so it, it, it's, it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of patience and then that's what you're going to need the most right and just have patience and have confidence in yourself and of course you know learn about it as much as you can you know if you find something on your computer that you don't know how to fix do your research internet is an incredible source of information and then do it yourself right figure out why things work the certain way you know that way you'll get your valuable experience instead of just knowing how to fix something you'll know exactly how it works right and that way not only will you know how to do it and exactly why it's done you can also show off your knowledge to your you know to your employer to your new employer or you know potential employer right all right guys i hope you like this video thank you very much for watching my videos i appreciate you guys and best of luck to you i really wish that you know if you really have a passion for it or would really like to get into it you know, just, you know, have patience and, 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 and I hope you really get it. It's an awesome place to be and you will enjoy. It. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.